it's really weird seeing it closed. I mean, that place, let's just say it was the beginning for me. Pete took me under his wing. He saw me. Boxing wasn't really a girl's thing in the 80s, but me, I was a proper tomboy. One of the lads. I'd quite happily take on any of the boys at school, give them a run for their money. I was always in one brawl or another. So angry I was. So bloody angry. Ended up getting myself expelled, didn't I? Social workers involved. I didn't tell them anything. An outlet I needed. Mm. For my aggression, you know. Mamsy pamsy shite, my dad said. Try boxing. No girl of mine is doing that. She's not a lesbo. Actually, I am. Well, I wasn't. I just said that for a rise. Although I did try it with Julie Braithwaite down the road. I thought I was. I, I really thought I was. Anyway, I knew I wanted to try boxing. So while all this is going on, my mum sat there with her doll face. The world's a breeze and all that. Buried beneath her expensive makeup. I was determined to get to Salford Lads Club. A few of the hard boys trained there. Still, I was bricking it. How would I act? What would I wear? I was the only girl. Like I said, Pete looked after me. Told the lads the score and I soon settled in. They were like my second family. <laughs> and then there he was. Sat we use crate of beer. Tenant super and a whiskey chaser. Weenie men shouting at Mike Tyson on the telly. Me simmering, seething. I'm gonna knock him out one of these days. Knock seven bells out of him. A right hook, an uppercut, and he's down. Women's featherweight champion of the world. I didn't half take it out on that punch bag. Pretended it was that waste of space and that my mum would get the courage and strength to leave him. It's the drink, she'd say with half an eye open. She did leave him in the end. So when I saw him there, Frail, fight, gone. I didn't want to pummel his face in. I actually felt sorry for him. He's no one. Yeah, he's my dad, I suppose. Sad though. I must have mellowed. So this virus has got a lot to answer for. Salford Lads Club needs to open again soon. I keep thinking, what are all these kids doing? The ones that were like me or worse. This place made me feel safe. And it's made me who I am today. It's a lifeline. Oh. And it's not just for lads. I made sure of that. <laughs>